City crews are moving the Confederate monument at 55th and Ward Parkway. Only 41 Action News was there as workers began to peel away the plywood that covered the graffiti-stained statue. Now the process to remove this monument at the park is getting underway right now. Let's get to 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan. What's happening now, Charlie? Lindsay, we've taken the next step in removing this statue and relocating it. I can show you that a contractor is now on scene and they're in the process of separating the statue, this monument, into different pieces. That'll obviously make it easier to move. The whole uh, memorial as, as a whole weighs nearly 8,000 pounds, according to the uh, City Parks Department here. And so uh, the United Daughters of the Confederacy donated this memorial to the city back in the 30s as a way to remember the loyal women to the to the old south, you know, referring to the Civil War, of course, and uh, and then over the weekend, last past weekend, someone vandalized it, and now that uh, that group, that chapter of the United Daughters of the Confederacy, has asked the city to remove it. So that process well underway right now with the um, contractor now on scene uh, separating the memorial, and the city plans on relocating it to a storage facility. New, we've learned that this will just go straight to storage, a safe, secure, off-site storage facility until the uh, the uh, owners, the, the group here, the United Daughters of the Confederacy, decides what to do with it. So we expect a crane to be getting here uh, after 7 o'clock, maybe closer to 8 o'clock this morning to really continue this forward. But as you can see, they're uh, in the middle now, kind of coming in with a strategy and working on separating the memorial into different pieces, making it easier to relocate. Live in Kansas City, Missouri, I'm Charlie Keegan for 41 Action News today. Four tons. Yeah, that is huge.